Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at the SQL Server data type, Geography. All the source code for this video is available on my GitHub, github.com slash software nuggets slash SQL Server underscore 2022 underscore geography. Let's take a look at the data type, Geography. Now, Geography is a object and that object is talking about longitude and latitude coordinates and that's normally associated with round earth a coordinate system so what we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable called start location and here's our data type and we're going to set that equal to geography point now this point comes down to three input items here is the latitude longitude, and then this right here is actually called the SRID. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you some more of these, but just right now, I want you to know, this is just like setting up the measurement to be in meters. So there's my start location. Now, whenever we're comparing, you know, like a start location to an end location, and we wanna get the distance between those, we have to use the same SRID, okay? So if we switch these, then the value goes to null. So we'll be using the same one throughout all my examples. So here you can see we're having our start location. And this is the Orlando International Airport. Its call letters are MCO. The end location is the Miami Airport, and that's MIA. So you'll notice here that I say start location dot, and here's a function that is on this object and we are going to be looking at st distance so using this as my input variable we're going to get the distance between the start location and the end location notice here that we are dividing it by 1609.334 and that gives us distance in the mile so let's see what that looks like so you can see that from the orlando airport to the miami airport it's roughly 192 miles now, as you see here there's another way to compute the mile instead of dividing it by 1609 we're going to multiply it by three zeros 62 1371 let's see what that looks like and notice the values are almost identical they're close not exact, but they are close. Now our third way, we're gonna actually produce the value, the distance in kilometers. So notice the output of that. So notice that we're dividing the distance between there by 1000 and that gives us kilometers. So 309 kilometers equals roughly 192 miles. Now the function here, st distance returns meters. So here I'm just showing you what that value looks like. So a moment ago, we were talking about the SRID, the spatial reference identifier. And I told you these numbers, when we're comparing it on functions like ST distance, they have to be the same value. But where do they come from? Well, there's a table, select star from sys, spatial reference systems. And this is the complete list of all of the SRIDs that are available. Now, I'm not gonna claim to ever be the expert at this right here. I know where they're located and I've been told to use this value. So that's what I've been using um, just about every time. Now, when I wanna look at just the one that we've been using here, 4326, and I go get that one row in there, notice that this unit of measure is meter. That is why when we did this function, to get the meter, then all these other calculations are based off the meter, and that is how I get it into mile and kilometer. Now, you can see when I execute this next statement, it returns like a hexadecimal number. Not like, it is a hexadecimal number. And the length of that is actually 22 bytes. So you can see that the value of the geography data type is a hexadecimal value, and the length of that is 22 bytes. In our next example, we're going to create a table, US Airport, and I'm going to get the airport. I'm going to get two codes that can tell you airport names. Then I'm going to get the latitude, the longitude, and then we're going to store a geolocation of type geography in that table. Let's go ahead and create that table. Now, don't worry about typing all this in. All of these airport, longitude, latitude, and points are available up on the GitHub 
you can just go to that location and download all this data. So here I'm going to go insert all this data into that table. I'm going to print the geolocation and then using that same column, I'm going to print the longitude and then the latitude from this point. So you can see I'm going to take the geolocation, this value, and I'm going to compute the longitude and latitude from this value. In our final query, notice we're declaring a variable at start location of type geography, and I'm going to put its value to the MCO airport. That's the Orlando airport. Then we're going to query this table we just created and we populated it with all this data. And I want to take that starting location and I'm going to find the distance to each one of these airports that are in the table. Then I'm going to divide it by 1609.344 and that's going to give me the miles apart. And then I'm going to be getting that from that table and then I'm going to order by two. Two is my second column, which is this map. Let's do this. Execute. So notice I searched it by Orlando. They're actually zero miles apart, exactly what we thought. And Tampa Bay is the closest one, 81 miles away. And then all the way up in Seattle, we have 25, 53 miles away, their airport. And there you have it, team. SQL Server 2022, the geography data type. You know, I showed you how to get the distance between two points. There's other things that you can do with this as well. This is just an introductory. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them below. Consider sharing this with your amigos. And guess what, team? I'll see you back in my next video. Until then, take care.